Hey guys, it's that time of the year again and NaNoWriMo is upon us. No, seriously, like five days from today. During all of October, also known as Preptober, we share our tips and advice to succeeding in NaNoWriMo. Today, I'm sharing with you the most important tool to my success, Noveler. I've mentioned it in my writing process and promised I'd go more in depth. So here we are. Noveler is a writing software created by writers for writers. This is what caught my interest back in 2015 when I first stumbled across their site. All of what Noveler offers easily assists you in completing your novel. Since subscribing to Noveler, I've written two novels, a handful of short stories, started a novella, and I plan to take on my third novel this upcoming Rymo. Well, I'd love nothing more than to take up this entire video going over every detail of Noveler. I'm going to log into my personal account and share my top favorite and most useful features of the software. So let's get started. First and foremost is the focus mode. Once you log in, you can start writing immediately and distraction free. As soon as you start typing, the sidebars and menus fade away into the background, allowing you to focus on what's truly important, writing. Whenever you're done working or need the menus, just move your cursor and they'll reappear. My second favorite feature is the day, evening, and night mode. Currently I have it in day mode, but on average I write in evening mode, which changes it to a black background with yellow font and is easier on the eyes. And of course there's night mode, which is the same black background but with white font. I think the biggest reason I keep it in evening mode is because I finished my first novel in that setting and it's actually helped me finish my second novel and a bunch of short stories, so be sure to pick the one that helps you write best. Back to the settings, we'll find my third favorite feature, writing stats. It keeps track of all your writing. This isn't your word count though. The stats section breaks down how many words you wrote total that day, month, and year. It even shows your average per day. Mine is on the low side as I've been away, but I'm ready to bring it back up this nano. Naveler even keeps track of how long you write, so if you want to write one, two, or more hours a day, it's readily available and lets you know if you really need to get your butt in that chair and write. Then there's Naveler's awesome word graph. The graph gives you a visual of what you've written over time, with the count presented in the increasing black line and the daily count represented by the blue bars. As I mentioned, this isn't showing you your total word count for your projects. What this is are the words you've really written while working on your project. They even provide an example up top stating, you might write a thousand words in a day but delete 900. Your word count stats will tell you you wrote 100 but you hadn't. You actually wrote a thousand. This section is perfect in knowing how many words you write before that horrible self-editor comes slashing. Now onto my next favorite feature, goals. Clearly we all need goals to keep ourselves accountable and going, and Noveler made sure to incorporate it into their software just for us. We have two options to choose from, either daily goals or monthly goals, or both. You can make a daily goal to write every day or reach a certain number of words daily, and you can make a monthly goal of any length and have it track across all your projects or a specific one. Both options can be applied so you can make your goal exactly how you want and need it. And last but not least, my fifth favorite feature is the constant saving. Every writer's biggest fear is their computer shutting down for an update and they've forgotten to back up their work for the last couple days. With Noveler, your words are 100% secure because it's always saving your work in the background and the software works offline as well as online. If you just need to disconnect and be completely distraction free, turn off your Wi-Fi and right away. This worked really well for me when I wrote at the Mark Twain house last year for Nano. The Wi-Fi was kind of spotty, I mean it is an old house, and while others were worried about their connection, I was writing away. This is because Noveler stores your words locally and once you reconnect to Wi-Fi, they're saved to their cloud-based storage, making it easy for you to access your words on any device at any time. And there you have it, my top 5 favorite Noveler features. There's actually so much more, but I figured I'd keep it to five and let you check out the rest on your own. You can sign up for Noveler commitment free for two weeks and use all the awesome tools I shared with you and more. Want more than two weeks? You can win six months of Noveler free by heading over to my Instagram page at Nolly Gonzalez and follow the rules on this post to enter. Entries end October 30th, so enter before it's too late. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more writing content, click that bell so you never miss an update, and follow me on social media. As always, thanks for watching writers. Until next time!